Hi everybody, I'm Dan Israel. I am mostly known for being a singer-songwriter, but I also like learning classic rock riffs and showing them to um, my son and other people. So if you want to learn from this, that's just fine. We're just going to do one first one today with Back in Black by ACDC. First thing you want to make sure you know are the chords E, D, and A. Those are the main chords that are played through the main part of the song, and it goes like this. You got it. First, I want you to run through those just on their own, those three chords. E, D, A, and listen to that rhythm of that strumming. Okay, but now what um, Angus Young from ACDC does is he goes... I didn't quite nail it there. Alright, so, what did I do there? I went E, D, and I'm going to slow it down right here. Alright, oh. now we're going to really spend a little time on this riff and really kind of show you how you play it. You go, that's 3rd fret, and then pull off on the high E string with your, with your fourth finger here. And when I say pull off, pulling off usually means kind of playing the string again with your left hand as you pull it off. It's not just hit the string and pull off, because then you don't hear enough of the second note. In order to really accentuate the second note, you hear how I... So I just want you to try that a bunch of times. And then it goes... So it's pull off, and then the third fret on the B string, the second string. So it's, and then an open B string. So to do it all, all those four notes, it's. Okay, then there's one more part to this. It's got a bend with your middle finger on the G string, on the third string, on the second fret. He does. And then down to the second fret on the D string. That's something you really got to work on is the bending. Bending the G string is a huge part of blues playing in rock music. And it's almost always that string that gets the most bending. So if you just want to practice, what you do is when you bend, you bend towards you, down away from you, and then pull off in this, on this particular riff. I would just do that about a hundred times. Learn how to bend the string up to that next note, back down, bend it back down to the normal pitch of the string, and then pull off, and then go to that. So together it will go. I think. I mean, I'm not really uh, playing it. It's hard to separate it out. Let me play it as a full thing and see if I'm actually getting it 100% right here. But. Okay, actually, yeah, instead of, the one thing I noticed that after the bend and the pull off on the G string, you don't actually hit a note, you hit a full chord, a, whole, a full E chord, so it's. You're really kind of going into the next round of the riff off of that pull off. So you can just slow it down and work on that. I would do that about a million times, just that, until you can make those pull-offs sound the right way and the bend sound the right way. You won't really be able to master it until you can understand how a pull-off and a hammer-on, hammer-on would be that, and a pull-off is, okay. Now I'm going to just real quick show you the other riff in, in the main part of the so, song. So, what's really crucial in all this, despite me showing you how to play the riff is that you just go listen to the song a lot 
and really absorb how that sounds when he does that. When he does that. But then now the other time through he goes. That's pretty tough if you got kid fingers. We might have to figure out another way to do that for you, but for now, what I'm doing, and I can tell you what I'm doing, and then you can just decide how you want to... Uh, it's just a big stretch, is what I'm saying. Because he's playing off of this fifth on your A string and your low E string. It would be the second and the fourth fret for the first... Second fret on the A string. You hear that? Second fret on the A string, fourth fret on the E string. But then he keeps creeping up the E string each time he goes back to the second fret on the A string. So he goes, that's now the fifth fret on the, on the E string. That's now the sixth fret on the E string. And he goes all the way up to the seventh fret on the E string and back. Now, it's possible he plays it a different way than I'm showing you. That does seem like a lot of stretching for guitarist fingers, but that's how I always played it. Um, we may be able to find another method in other words if your fingers just can't stretch like that because i can barely do it in my you know my hands are pretty big but if you just want to get a little practice doing so he's going second fret a string fourth fret e string second fret a string fifth fret e string second fret a string sixth fret e string second fret a string, seventh fret E string. In other words, he's going up from four, five, six, seven on the E string, alternating with second fret on the A string. And um, I'll just play it once here for you. watching today we'll uh, put up some more videos soon with other guitar riffs you can learn and we'll try to help you along as you progress on guitar